favourite golf course? Augusta. Augusta's my favourite golf course now. <laughs> I'm Harrison Crowe from Sydney, Australia, and I'm one of the amateurs competing this year at the US Masters. The, that putt on, the, putt on the last hole in Thailand didn't really click until I had that putt where I had a couple minutes to stand over it, and right before I, right before I went to the ball, I said, this is to get in the Masters in the Open, and it wasn't it. As soon as I said that to myself, I was like, why? But um, yeah, no, it was definitely a bit of nerves over that putt, and when it went in, there was a huge high relief. Yeah, I mean, growing up, um, being at Bardwell Valley, there was always there was always times been on that putting green, imagining scenarios, um, and one of them was definitely a, a scenario of a, a six footer um, to win the Masters and to to be to be able to play there this early on in my career and really really showcase myself is obviously something that not many people get to do, and just so so excited. I mean, honestly, it didn't really sink until not too long ago, uh, but then the letter just made it just that little bit more real, like, this is this is awesome. So I was watching a lot of replays and trying to figure out um, a lot, like what a lot of the players did, how they how they attack greens, what the course looked like over the years. Pretty much only just recently got back from practice rounds. Yep. And um, it was an awesome experience. It was definitely probably not what it, not what I expected from what you from what you're seeing on TV. Um, definitely a lot harder, I think. Definitely a lot slopier. Um, but it's it's a it's a beautiful place, and I think it was it was good just to kind of get out there and um, really just learn how to play the golf course rather than get a little bit too overwhelmed just from being there, kind of thing. So I'm going to spend some downtime over in Orlando at the Golf Australia House. So just really just work hard in the work hard in the gym, getting the body right, do a lot of practice. Yeah, just making sure I'm just doing everything well leading up to heading over there, and I'll probably I'll probably drive up on the Saturday, and then ideally, ideally just do little things and not kind of overwork myself, I get too excited and play eight rounds of golf before the tournament even starts. So yeah, it's, it'll just come down to me just really managing myself well, manage my body, make sure I'm in really good shape. Which golf ball do you play? Uh, I play the Titleist Pro One X. And why do you play that golf ball? Firmer feel, higher ball flight, which helps my game, and just the crisp feeling off the wedges is amazing. I've recently just tried a seven wood, got uh, Tyler's guys to fit one up for me just to take over there and try out. And um, really like it, really like it. I'm not quite, I'm not a naturally high ball flighter, and I think uh, coming into some of those greens, you definitely need to be coming in with some height. And um, gave the seven wood a crack, and it's, uh, been pretty good to me so far, so there's a good chance it'll go in the bag come Masters week. And um, it's super, it's really easy to hit. <laughs> I mean, I've always been a, a really low bounce guy. I use the T grind virtually everywhere, but I do know at Augusta, it's, um, it's that different type of rye grass. It's very sticky. It's also very tight. And uh, did try out the K grind, uh, the low bounce K, just to kind of see if it kind of gave me a little bit more forgiveness and allowed it to, to get through that turf a little bit easier. And um, I love the look of both of them sitting down. And it's the K grind on that type of grass probably looks like the better option at the moment. And we'll just, we'll fiddle around come Masters week just to kind of figure out what uh, what's going to be a little bit more forgiving through that turf and kind of optimize what I get out of it. The K, the K grind certainly, uh, certainly a lot nicer out of the bunkers as well. Hopefully take up a few practice rounds with uh, Scotty, Cam, um, and just really soak it in and um, really try to pick their brains a little bit about the course and their experience. And Scotty's definitely definitely knows his way around that course pretty well. So you know this is why the game is great. Confidence, all of a sudden, a win at the Asia Pacific, and you know his experience level has just gone through the roof in about three months at the back end of last year and now we find ourselves quite close to the masters which is going to be a whole new thing for him to learn how to handle and but he has all the attributes you know i can, I can see young players today are so prepared when they get to this uh, stage of their game where harrison is 
much more prepared than certainly when I was a top amateur player. So I'll stay, I'll stay in the crow's nest on the Monday night after the amateur dinner. We've got a house uh, with about 12 of us in there. So I'll definitely soak in the, the company with friends and family. So yeah, that'll, that'll just be really good enjoying, enjoying the company. It'll be a pretty full house. There'll be some people on the floor, but I've already shotgunned a, shotgunned a full bed. I think the best piece of advice I've been given is just to, just to enjoy. Just to enjoy the game of golf at the end of the day. It is just a game. So I think people can get too involved in the results and putting too much pressure on themselves. And I know for a fact when I play my best golf, I'm out there just having fun and just, just trying to, trying to, trying to play well and show off to an extent. And um, I know over the last six months, it's been pretty cool having having little kids come up to me and um, ask to sign some stuff and ask me questions. It's it's something I say to them all the time that if they ask for any advice, it's just just enjoy yourself. It's um, the people you get to meet in the game of golf over a lifetime is just impeccable. I mean, I'm only 21 years old. I've met so many different people across the states, across the world, and the, the friendships you make are just unbelievable. So just enjoy, enjoy just the game itself. All right, Team Tyler, let's have a great week. Something you wouldn't know about me is that I'm a wicked table tennis player.